to lock in. I love that. Love that. Three, two, one, go! So where's the menu? We are in Laurel Park, Maryland. At 198 Laurel Racetrack Road in Laurel, Maryland. We have Smash Ultimate Brackets every Tuesday and every Friday. And a monthly, well, we just had a monthly last Saturday, I believe. So, yeah. But those are regular as well if you can't make the weekday ones. Come through if you're in Maryland. Middle of nowhere, hey, we are in the middle of one of the biggest horse race tracks on the East Coast, I think. Laurel Park is pretty big. But, yeah. I mean, there's nothing really here because they need room to race horses. All right, but let's get into this game one here as Mador gets the first stock. And if my memory hasn't left me, is this a run back from earlier this evening? Did they play? They did play. It's slashing 3 0'd. So Mador already doing much better in starting. Ouch, claps, claps. When you miss a tech and your opponent just stands there, that's so scary. Mentally, I'm screaming the entire time when I end up in those situations. It's the invisible footstool. That was such a weird interaction. Looks like he landed on stage. Okay, that was really weird, but Slashy ends up getting the better end of it both times in a row. And looking for the spot dodge, praying for the spot dodge, but spot dodge was not the answer play, my friend. Slashy kind of keying in more to the air to air things that he had last set. And that looks really hard to contest. You know? Wario is a character that lives and breathes in the air, so if you start kind of taking the space away from him, what else does he have left? Just a garlic shell of a broken man. Bruh. And Slashy channing his inner Dexter right there. Uh oh. This actually could. This actually will not kill. I tried to do a little cheese there. Try to do a little cheese again, but no, no, no. Slashy is lactose intolerant, my friend. He does not take that cheese. Yeah, but he's gonna have to take that one. Down tilt and dash attack. In game one, going to Matador. Putting a stop to the continuation of the 3-0 that we saw in these two players early, earlier tonight. Yeah, yeah, Brick's speaking truth right there. We're in the middle of nowhere, but middle of nowhere, Maryland. Or middle of nowhere, like, DMV-ish area. It's a lot different than middle of nowhere in, like, Wisconsin or like Kansas. Or the states I forget about often. North Dakota, yeah. Middle of nowhere, North Dakota, there's nothing. Right, but off this game number two, we're probably going to be rocking PSU the whole time. Really good uh, reversal right there from Slashy. Matter using that bike to make sure that you never really feel safe. And Slashy opting to forego the um, rush punch, mock punch, the JoJo's aura auras, and going back to the shot put, the tried and true. I kind of agree with that, honestly. Hasn't really gotten anything off that. Matter has just been a little bit too predictable to throw out a huge middle option like that. And his punish game has been on point enough as well to make him not want to. So, what you gotta do instead is, um, yeah, just kind of use the shot put to get some safety and maybe set up for some good ledge traps as well. 
Oh, really good DI right there from Nandor. If we'd done anything but the DI that he had uh, done right there before, I would have gotten up B in smoke. So it's the commentary option select. Learned that from James Chen, the GOAT. Can never tell when anything will kill ever, but he's so good at covering for it. <laughs> Lots of practice, I guess. That's my goal right there. Oh, Slashy, jumping right into that bike. Yeah, holding a couple hundred horsepower to the face. Right, big opportunity here. We're going to go for the upbeat. Nope, just go for the up air, just getting that safe damage, keeping that be fresh and relaxed for later on when you're gonna need it. Oh, that waft. Oh, that was scary. And that was, yeah, just barely a full one as well, so I think Mado is probably gonna have enough time to gain one more. One more relevant waft, so like half or above. I've got to say, Mador is really brave. For, that was the weirdest shot I've ever seen. But Mador is really brave for jumping over and over. And oh yeah, not gonna have the bike back. He got chucked right off of that bike. So barely, the seat wasn't even warm. You know, Warrior has some leather on that. That leather was still cold. Still getting chucked away. So you know, losing that stock relatively early, all things considered. Okay, and gets that stock back. Wait a minute now. Mador getting some good damage in too. Good tech. I didn't even think you would have to tech there. So yeah, good uh, recognition right there. No, Mador burning another waft, and not getting much off of it. But even uh, he might not even really need it. He is really cooking right now, playing so well, evening things back up. And, uh, up tilt into up air. Keep the pressure going with the uh, Nair as well. Now, yep, this is the point where both of them are going to be fished for up smash. Both of them are so jump happy and jump heavy. It, it's going to be a matter of who can just keep it a little bit more disciplined. But another big pivot grab right there for Slashy. And the up smash is enough. And Slashy evening the playing field for now. You know, I wonder how many coins Xandu setup has. No one ever really goes to the, like the um, the shop or anything like that. So, like, does it max out? Can you get, is it like nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine? I wonder. Because this has like two torments of wheat run on it, so it's probably a lot. But that's not important right now. Let's get back into the set here. Game three. Uh, using that up B as a pseudo sure you can. Uh, but Matt are kind of baiting that out with those, some really good DI and awareness. Where to air dodge. I feel like the up B and up smash is kind of the linchpin of um, Slash's game plan, you know? And I think uh, that'll be the big thing that decides how the set will go. Nice spike to the face. Gonna have to block that one right there. Slashy, I think I saw it in his eyes. If Mad Door had even went a little bit above the stage, that was an be way to eat that. What am I talking about? Listen, sometimes I've been commenting solo for like two and a half hours. I'm doing my best here. Sometimes I'll just be saying so. Let me dial it back in. Oh, 
Oh, almost get a punish on that flip kick right there, but Matador not able to find too much. All right, big opportunity here, though. What do we got? We got a bike. It's not going to have flip kick. So he just has to grab the ledge the old-fashioned way. Yep, force that situation. Waits for the uh, what the option will be and just gets up and grabs. Resets it. But it's actually fighting back that time. And dang, that was a pretty emphatic combo there right there. as in danger of the situation here. And Mador is going to be the one that overcommits a little bit first. Another dash attack, another not kill, the late hit, and Slashy actually rolling through. Okay, Slashy building up the smash. If you get the stock here, this would be pretty big for him. That was so close for both of them. Both of them recognizing it's do or die, now or never. And I mean, Matador chose do and Slashy chose die. All right, but the Nair off the ledge is gonna be enough to get the kill. Safe, easy, effective option. Full waft here as well, so. Ooh, good pivot grab. Alright, slashing fishing a lot here. And that might be signs of um, feeling the mental stack starting to be overloaded. Nice chase. Matador actually considering the waft. I would count this as an advantage for him. Not gonna have a jump here, so he, oh yeah, just able to drift back down just fine. Oh, that up tilt could have spelled disaster for Slashy though. And he, he gets it, and he gets it. Matador two one right now. Yes. Someone said Slash's beard looking good. Yeah, it's growing in nice. As a fellow bearded man myself, game recognizes game. Good beard. All right. So potentially the final game for Slashy here. Just to lock in and figure out what kind of adaptations to make because the 3 0 from the set earlier, or 3 0 set earlier this evening. Might have just been data for Matador. At least that's the way it's looking right now. Oh man, this is a big string coming out in this early part. I mean, Slashy had a solid advantage early on, but Matador just fired right back. Nice, good eye from Slashy. With Matador in Wario just kind of dancing, tap dancing on your shield, putting on a nice little recital, it's hard to tell what side he's going to end up on. So having the eye to kind of get that up smash and get the kill is, you know, it takes practice. It's sharp. <laughs> Those tools are so funny. It's the down tilt and the dash attack gets that stock. Some of the chat made a good point. The hit stun on up air actually does make things a lot more reactable than other moves in that situation would be. So, Wario kind of using you know every advantage in this kit to extend the strings as much as possible. Oh, reverse up air. I almost thought that could have been something like you know another short hop up air and up B. Been kind of cute. Is 
this. Nah, he's not going to burn it here. Yeah, no real reason to when you're playing a solid douche like this. Dash attack. Is that? Oh, he died. It's so hard to tell with me sometimes because they don't make any noise and they die off the top. Oh, man. So Slashy holding in just a little bit too much there. Matador at a huge advantage here. Has the waft and just needs really one more hit to maybe lead into it. That's... I don't know if he touched the... He did. Okay. Uh, do we have bike again? No, we don't. He's going to have to waft or die, but yeah, he got bike back a little bit later. I saw him do the looking animation. So he didn't have it the first time we tried, but... Yeah, too little, too late, and now Slashy stabilizing. What? What was he looking for and why did it almost work? That was that was so wild. Oh, he was probably looking for dash stack, maybe. Or uh, forward air. Yeah, forward air would make sense. Is that? No, it's not going to be it. And Matador revealing his hand. Slashy not going to have a jump here. He's going to have to flip jump or die. No, just drops low and goes for the up B. Good awareness. And there's a chance. Had to air dodge for the life in Mador kind of take the safe punish, just a little bit of damage, just to reset the situation. And the bite, gonna put Slash in a really compromised situation here. And this could be the chance, and that is it. Matador, 3-1 with a huge adaptation. Good stuff. And with that, our grand finals is locked and loaded. It's gonna be Zexy Matador. Really fair play. Good stuff right there from Matador. Especially after getting 3-0 early in the evening by the same player. It's not always easy to make the mental adjustments, but went to the drawing board, figured out what needed to be done, and made it happen. So, really good stuff. And I see he's actually stepping up, so Maddor taking a little breather, taking a second. I don't blame him. That was a pretty intense set. So, got our grand finals locked in, and we're just going to be waiting until both players are ready to go. So, it all comes down to this. Chad, I hope you've been enjoying this journey. You know, I know it's not been a high energy night. It's been pretty chill. I like to keep it low key. It's only 28 entrants tonight anyway, so, you know, still lots of competition though. It's been a really fun watch and it all comes down to this. Someone asked, will you leave before 12? That is the question. That is the question. If Zexy keeps on playing like he's been playing um, throughout the evening, I think there's a strong chance that we could. But, I mean, Matador does kind of play the slower game when he needs to. Although, to be fair, Zexy might not really let him do that. Zexy's kind of been pedal to the metal in your face. So I think win or lose, it'll be a pretty fast set. When both players sit down, of course. That's, that's the thing. Yeah. Because I definitely see Zexy sitting there having a conversation with Slashy. Don't know where Matador went, though, so that's, that's all fair. Yeah. Um, is the... Low five smash nights. Yeah, that's the vibe. I try and live with, man. Yeah. Come back, check this place out. Please do. From Delaware. Man, Delaware used to come through all the time. Who was that? Twisted Nas? Yeah. Delaware used to come through all the time back in the Smash 4 days. They were homies. They were, used to come through so much that we included them on the PR one of our seasons. Um, yeah. Lots of cool folks hanging out from up there. Those are the days. They always say you don't know the good old days until they're well past, but, you know. We lived in the Smash 4 days, and we had a lot of fun. It was, Xandu was a fun place back then. Fun now, but you know. I've been here so long, it's a whole different crowd. Not the people I came up with. Good times, good times. Make the trip, have uh, snacks and a food bar. Yeah, yep, yep, especially if you come through on a Saturday. On weekdays, uh, I mean, I think they might be open to the startup bracket, but usually by the time I end up rolling through around top eight, start, uh, things have been closed for a bit. <laughs> Someone said MDVAD is try to stay at home. Uh, kind of. I mean, Smash is so weird because geographic areas just kind of lose meaning for them. Like, a lot of people were like, oh yeah, DMV. It's like um, DC, Maryland, Virginia, right? That's what makes sense. But DC doesn't really have a strong presence in the Smash scene. Um, now we have District E. Shouts to District E. They're homies. Hopefully, you know, I can make it out to one of those in uh, May and beyond. 
wanted to come out to them a little bit earlier, but it's been a pretty busy uh, year for me so far, early on. But yeah, so far, I see Mador coming back. Is that Slashy walking? Oh, Slashy's out. Okay, I was about to say. I was like, is that Slashy walking away again, bruh? But yeah. I need y'all to get your butts in those seats. I'm going to be frank. But yeah, uh, Delaware doesn't really come through as much anymore. I don't even know the Delaware smashing as much. Because I know University of Delaware used to be kind of the hub. I wonder if that's still the case. If we have any Delaware folks in the chat, let me know how y'all locals are doing. Hope y'all are doing well out there. Love to see Smash thrive in small areas, small scenes, small states. You know? Yeah. So, uh, let me see. What else is going on?